Evening everybody. Well after yesterday's little disaster I studied this last night and where that broke at the back inside the cast was a patch of something very hard almost like tungsten I should think the drill bit didn't like it in fact it skidded around it so much I had to thread it out for a five mil hill so got to put an odd sized bolt in that one I've done done that one and I've even drilled and glued bolts in this side as well because I looked at that thinking that that looked like a weak point but the reason it went bang was because I got on a bit of a speed rush yesterday I think and I tried to get it over 430 feet per second and I put this silly 120 grain bolt in it <laughs> that was the straw that broke the camel's back my dog is snoring its head off <laughs> but these are the bolts or one of the bolts I've made that I've been trying to get the speed up on the rev to cope with. That's 235 grain. <coughs> with the changeable tip. This is the only bolt I've got left out of four that were dead straight. And with these tips in this bolt, that is cool. <laughs> when, when I had it done 345 feet per second with a 160 grain bolt, I was shooting this one at 15 yards. I think that was down just under 300 feet per second and that was just hitting that same hole in the bullseye every single time. That bolt is just awesome. I've got some really nice carbon coming from China when it arrives. But I ordered three things from the same seller, the tips and some points and the shaft and the adapters turned up but I'm still waiting for the shafts and the points. But when they come I'll be making some really nice bolts with these adapters and selling them on eBay. If anyone's interested in um, <laughs> sorting their rats out. <laughs> but anyway, that's funny. You upgrade one thing and make it stronger and then make the bow stronger and then something else breaks. Oh, oh dear. My araldite will be going off. Need to just get that last bolt in here. Stupid arthritis in my thumb, I keep dropping things. Oh, that was another thing when I started getting this to get up to 350, 360 feet per second. That was just getting so hard to cock, I had to put a foot stirrup on it. So.
but when I get this fire on again, I'm going to turn the power down, so I'm not going to be going for that 350 feet per second. I'm just going to be sensible now and get it shooting these 235 grain bolts at around about 330 feet per second, something like that, and I shan't never use another light bolt again. I was gritting my teeth when I pulled the trigger, so I'm not really surprised it broke. <laughs> Right. And what I'm also going to do, get this so I can show you. Let's cut two pieces of two millimeter steel and make a piece like that to. Put four bolts in here. But then when that's in place, that'll have a solid support up against the body. Rather than having that big gap in there where it can pull. And there's a lot of stress on this area here. A hell of a lot of stress. So hopefully that'll make it strong enough and I'll reduce the power down again and then these have already proved they can handle 425 feet per second but <laughs> that's a lot of stress when you get up to that speed. So hopefully they won't break. <laughs> We'll see. So hopefully in the next video I can um, do something a bit more exciting like see how accurate it is at 100 yards or something silly. <laughs> see if it'll go through a sheet of 2mm steel. We'll see. <laughs>